Well, good morning, everybody, and welcome back. My name's Andrew, and you're watching the Kelly's Country Life. So today, another pole barn house episode. Hopefully, y'all are enjoying them. Y'all been asking for them. You're getting them. So yesterday, Mother Nature decided that I could not finish this wall. Uh, we had lightning storm come through, and then another one right behind that. It's been an every afternoon thing. It's kind of reminded me whenever I was a child. That used to be common around 3.30 to 4.30. Here it comes, and every day, a little after 4 o'clock, I have been getting run out of here with lightning. So this morning, we're going to pull this plastic back down. Oh, I'm sick and tired of doing that. I can't wait for this to get dried in. We're going to finish trimming out this top section right here. Go ahead and put our last big board up. should be a full 8-footer, and then continue to trim down with uh, OSB. So I shouldn't have a problem finishing this today. Then the plan will be pull the rest of the plastic down. If there's nothing on the radar, start taping all the seams. I still have this whole section to do, that whole side, and half of the front. So there is a lot of seam taping to do today. That's the plan. We'll see if we can get all this done, knocked out, and potentially start house wrapping before this tropical storm hits. Now, due to the nature of how long it takes to make these videos, edit these videos, and upload these videos, Yes, I understand the tropical storm is probably already done, came and gone by the time you're watching this one. It's going to be really close. So who knows what happened, but I'm out here busting it. As of right now, we still have another day, day and a half before it's scheduled to hit. It's going to be all I can do to get, you know, finish uh, sheathing everything. I still got windows to cut out, tape everything, and then start house wrapping, taping all that, pulling it in. I've got my work cut out for me. This has been the busiest week thus far on the house. It's been from sun up to sundown when Mother Nature lets me trying to get this thing knocked out and ready to go for this storm. All right, let's get to work. Now, in case y'all missed it in the other episode, don't forget I'm coming back and adding blocking in here, tying it to my angle iron frame, and nailing everything. So while this is probably plenty strong as you see it now, I'm also tying it to the purlins. I'm gonna come back and block the heck out of it. So if we ever get hurricane force winds, this little bit of flex up here will actually be tied into the frame and won't absolutely not go anywhere. I don't want to just rely on the little uh, small tie-in straight to the purlin. So just thought I'd bring that up. This is just kind of tacking everything in place, so to speak, and then I can come back from the inside with a uh, special tool that I have coming. I can't wait to show it and really tie everything together and make it unbelievably strong.
All right, so we are officially done with sheathing other than cutting out one more window. So what an amazing feeling. The uh, radar is still relatively clear for once and it's early enough in the day. We're gonna keep on working. So we're about to tear the plastic down, hopefully all the way around the house. And I'm about to start taping every single seam. That's my goal. If I can get sheathing complete today and every seam taped, that's a dang good day and something I can be proud of. So, let's get to work. I have been back and forth on what's the best way to run this tape. No matter what way you run it, it's, it's good stuff to do. But I've been trying to figure out how to get that perfect shingling effect. Basically, if a seam's running this way, one overlaps the top. So if water ever got behind the vapor barrier, it would run down. And a lot of people said, just do all your vertical seams first. But it looks like it makes sense to do, since I'm staggered, do vertical seams on one run, then horizontal. Stop the vertical seam. Uh, in the horizontal seam. That way when you come laying this tape over, it locks in the top of that seam and water can't wedge itself behind it. So I think that's the way I'm going to do it. Run verticals on one section of run, then run horizontal, then run verticals horizontal. And if I'm thinking correctly, I think that's going to get me that perfect shingling effect that I'm looking for.
all right there's this side completely done this wall is done now all the corners every seam is wrapped and i think i did it halfway okay so what y'all can see is my idea of shingling i started with the vertical seams here and then ran the horizontal so it shingles over that and then you come back up here how did i do that oh then you run verticals again carry a horizontal so it shingles over the vertical and now this vertical shingles over this horizontal so every section i had a vertical horizontal then you run vertical horizontal and thus far it looks like every single seam wound up shingled or at least what i think is shingled y'all let me know if that ain't right i'm not tearing it back off but <laughs> i would like to know we might as well all get some good education out of it so that looks different but it looks good that looks like progress and looks like a very well sealed house right there so now what i've got to do is put this plastic back up there's no way i'm getting the house wrapped today it's already late in the afternoon and uh the radar is blowing up on me so i'm gonna wrap the side <laughs> what a day y'all hey another 13 to 14 hour day in the books i'll tell y'all what after i get this house dried in i'm taking me a day or two off i'm gonna go fish I wanted to go do what I wanted to. Y'all hold me accountable for that. But we got to keep plugging away trying to get this thing dried in. So I just came up here to the front. I now have this completely taped in and uh, ready to go. This is ready for a house wrap now. So all that we have left, I'll get up very early in the morning while it's still cool. And luckily this is the shady side for a while. And uh, I have got to zip tape all those seams. That's going to take a good little while. I got to pull all the plastic down, pull the tin back away. So, whew, that's going to be a, a lot of work in and of itself because we're coming right behind that tomorrow as well. I am going to try to uh, house wrap this thing, and Tiffany is going to help me. So y'all get a, uh, finally get to see her on camera. I know y'all been asking for a while. Check this out. It's so hot out here that when you lay plastic or anything down that can trap heat, it is literally burning the grass within a few hours. Insane. Absolutely insane. It's been so stinking hot. So we're looking like a house now, y'all. We really are. This is exciting. This looks good. Let's go inside here. Even though you're probably not going to be able to see nothing, camera's going to probably get a little shaky. So, looks nice seeing a window there now. I've still got to cut this one out. That'll let a little more light in the house. We'll get that tomorrow. But... We have a house now. It's actually echoing because there is walls everywhere. This is awesome. I don't know if y'all can see up there or not. So, we're going to have to work toward getting electrical and lights in here before long. <laughs> All right, well, it's been another extremely long day trying to get this thing knocked out. Tomorrow is the last day that we can work before the storm hits. And again, I know y'all are watching this several days after storm honestly i'm way behind on emails i'm way behind on comments and i'm way behind on editing and getting videos out because this has been my focus and it needed to be so i'm sure y'all understand that we'll get caught back up on getting things out a little more timely here as the weeks rock on so hopefully you enjoyed it like i said make sure you stay tuned for the next episode we're going to wrap this thing up and tiffany's going to help we'll catch you on the next episode